Today in this video we will learn about how to rename WP admin login URL manually without using any plugin in a new installation of WordPress. For that log into cPanel and then go to file manager section. Now upload WordPress zip file inside public underscore HTML. Once the zip file of WordPress is uploaded, just extract it here. Now create a .php file inside WordPress installation folder that is test.php. Now edit that file in cPanel. Now enter the following code here which contains the code to find a particular keyword and then replace it automatically. Now click on save changes. Now open this test.php from outside via web browser. This code will run in the backend and will find and replace all the keywords of WP admin into the new admin URL keyword. Now also rename WP admin as we have renamed it everywhere. You can rename this into custom admin. Now once the name is changed successfully, you will need to go inside WP includes folder in your WordPress installation. Now edit admin bar.php inside WP includes. Now go to line number 31 and rename WP admin here. Now click on save changes. Now rename class WP admin bar.php inside WP includes. Make sure you rename according to your new custom admin panel's name. Now go inside MySQL database inside cPanel. Now enter your database name here. Now add user to database. Now you need to assign a user to the database. Now further assign all privileges and then click on make changes. Now go to the WordPress dashboard login page and then select your language and then click on continue. Now be prepared with the below credentials. Further enter your credentials and click on submit that is enter your database name, username, password. Now click on run the installation. Now here enter your website name and then Enter the password of your WordPress account as well as username, your email ID and then click on install WordPress. Now if you go to the login page and enter your login credentials that you have made just now, you will find that your WordPress is now accessible in your new custom admin path. Now here are few troubleshoots, if this type of error appears, you need to resolve this error by enabling the error log.
So for that go to wpconfig.php and then set the status from false to true. This will enable WP debug mode. In this way you will be able to see the actual error. Now you can go to the particular line number as well as the particular file and fix those errors. In most of the cases, if you fail to replace WP admin with your custom admin name in some of the places, this type of issue will come. If the error is resolved, you will be successfully able to log in inside your WP admin panel.